Now I sent you a link. It should say, join with video. I want to do that, don't I? You do. I'm dizzy and broken. There's so much unspoken. I can't deny anymore. I sent you a guide. Is that on the text? Yes. Yeah. No, you don't need to hang up. Don't need to hang up. Oh, for God's sake. Look at yourself. So much of me on the shelf. Oh, hello, love. I've just been reading a text from you. How funny. Yeah, we just... Doesn't matter. I'm bleeding, continue misreading the signs I need to ignore. Um, Mum, the Zoom on the computer. Now, I'm here waiting for you. You just Should we give Gary a ring? No, I'm here sorting it with you. He's very technical. Yeah, he's in Australia. The space between... Mum, could you just click the thing that says join with video? Oh, yes, I can see it. Oh, this is exciting. Yes, it is. Oh, hang on. Where did you go? Hello, love. Ah, oh, finally. You can put the phone down now. Oh, silly me. And you really don't need to wear a mask. Oh, I don't trust the internet. Y your dad hates it. Hated it. And uh, please, take the mask off. <sighs> well, we're zooming. What fun. Yeah. Mum, take the mask off. I promise you can't catch it online. Well, has that been proven? You're no doctor. Trust me. Well, it'll be my funeral. I hope you can live with that. I'll chance it. <sighs> well, this is good, isn't it? Yeah. What do we do now? Well, we just have a normal conversation. Well, you could have rung me for that. Yeah, but I get to see you this way. Well, I put makeup on. No. Oh, Mum, it's only me. <laughs> well, you never know who's watching. No, I promise it is just me. You should wear more. <sighs> Cheer you up a bit. So, how have you found breakdown? Lockdown. Lockdown. Breakdown. It's the same thing. I don't like to think of you all alone. No matter how I feel about you. Oh, I'm not alone. Uh, uh, did um, Maggie sort your shopping? She got a lot of own brands. And I was very clear on my list. And Aldi, please. Do I look like I shop at Aldi? I am Tesco's through and through. Look, Mum, she is a good neighbour and she's good to you. She just left the food outside the door. Yeah, but she has to, Mum. It's distancing. Yeah, well, I wish she'd distance herself. Well, I'm glad she's there for you. Half a job. And I don't know why they don't let me go by myself. Well, you know why. Are you still having those episodes? They aren't episodes. It doesn't just go. You know, Sue tried to kill herself. She was always miserable at Canasta. We can't say that. You'll never understand. Her daughter's got an eating disorder too. She's a vegan. It's not a disorder. Well, she needs to cheer up. Depression seems to be all the rage. But why do you do that? What? You belittle people. Me. You've got no idea. Well, uh, I, I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> Yeah, well, you never mean to, but it just happens. Anyway, Dawn's obviously sorted everything for you. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Dawn. Your well, Dawn, who comes to help you out. Who's Dawn? You know who Dawn is. Oh, you mean that silly woman who keeps fussing about my house? Dawn, is that her name? Well, she comes, tries to drug me. She had a haircut the other week. Shocking. Looks like Boris Johnson. Your dad says I should be more... Oh. Oh. 
No, what's the word he uses? Forthright. Yes, it's always very good with words, your dad. Mum, Dad. Look, um, we need to talk. I think Dawn, look, hear me out. I think Dawn might need to come twice a day. Twice a day? What? Twice a day? Once is bad enough. Have you heard the latest? Jan? Dawn. Dawn? Jan? Whatever her bloody name is. I told her not to come during the archers. I've given her a window. 5.45pm. That's the window. And does she listen? And I told her I don't like bloody margarine. And what does she buy? Margarine. Stalk. Who puts stalk on toast? And she tries to kill me, I swear. And you can tell she's single. I said to her, what are you doing in my house, woman? I'm not alone. My husband can do all of this. Oh, Derek doesn't like her. He says she smells of corned beef and feet. <laughs> oh, oh, we laughed about that the other night. Oh, we laughed. You all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. You're still having your episodes? We, we just... Uh... What time is it? Five to seven. Oh, I've got to go, I've got to go. Oh, OK. It's the archers at seven. <laughs> you forgot. Better check you don't have the corona. Mum? Mum? What did I say? Well, it be archers, you've got to go. Oh, yes. I forgot I'm worse than you. <laughs> I love you, Mum. Oh, all right. I do. I just, um, you know, I don't say it. You're getting all silly and sentimental like your dad, <laughs> crying at adverts and such. <laughs> Well, that Jan had better not interrupt the archers. <sighs> Stupid woman. Your dad says she smells of corned beef and feet. <laughs> oh, we laughed at that the other night. Night, love. Night, Mum. Derek, it's the archers in five minutes. I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> Derek. Mum. Derek? Mum. Derek? Are you going deaf, love? Derek? Mum! Mum? Oh, hello. What are you doing there? We're on a Zoom tonight. Oh, lovely to see you. Do I need a mask? <laughs> no. No, you uh, can't catch it online. Well, has that been proven? Trust me, you'll be fine. Well, I'm glad Dawn sorted the computer for you. Oh, silly Dawn. I told her not to come during the archers. I've made a window for her, 5.45 p.m. And does she listen? And she buys margarine instead of butter. We're not in the war now. Stalk, I ask you. Mum, you're a snob. We should only use stalk for baking, love. And you know it's grey, they colour it yellow. Oh, I don't want grey grease on my toast. <laughs> that was the archers, I don't want you to miss it. Oh, I'll get the omnibus on Sunday. Now, how are you? I don't like to think of you alone during all of this. Oh, you know, hanging in there. Oh, I watched a film the other night. You know, with what's his name? Oh, oh. Oh, you know, the, the, oh, the one I, um... Robert Redford. <gasps> Robert Redford! Don't tell your dad. I always fancied him. I won't. And Paul Newman. Where did you go? Where did you go?